And so let me give you an example. I was in a shoe shop. I love shoe shopping. And I'm standing there looking at all the blingy, glitzy shoes. And a woman walks in. She's completely deranged. So she's totally out of her mind. So much so that there was a mirrored wall at the end of the shop. And this woman is walking into the wall. She's walking into the mirror glaze, saying, why can't I get through? Why can't I get through? So the staff actually were quite scared because they're like, what, what do we do? She's really unhinged. And I stand up and I know that I'm weaponized by heaven. And just knowing that changes the atmosphere. She spots me, she pivots on the spot, comes towards me. And as soon as she stands in the atmosphere of heaven that I carry, and this is not just for me to do, this is for all of you to do, she came immediately into her right mind. And that woman suddenly from being deranged and walking into a wall is saying, I'm so glad you're here. I feel safe. I feel like I can think clearly. And it reminds me of that scripture when King Saul comes into Samuel's company and he came into his right mind. That's being weaponized by heaven. It's not just to build your own ego. It's that you actually become a weaponized liberation force for anybody who needs saved in your circle.